I remember back in the day, probably like 10, 11, maybe even 15 years ago, the easiest way to play a lot of Nintendo DS ROMs and Game Boy Advance ROMs, stuff like that, was on a Nintendo DS and with an R4 Ace card. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are very familiar with that and how to do that, but over the years, things have gotten a little more interesting and I guess probably even easier. So nowadays, honestly, you could use your 3DS to do it. You could use your Wii U. You know, I mean, rest in peace, both of those. With no online functionality unless you do do that. But did you know there's actually an even easier way? And honestly, it, it's all right here on an iPhone. guys so this is gonna be a pretty simple tutorial on how to play nintendo ds games game boy advance game boy nes snes stuff like that some roms that you probably have saved already from over the years but now you can play them on an iphone which is a kind of a big deal because well you know for the longest time you had to jailbreak your iphone but now because a delta app right here we can play our roms that we have throughout the years on these phones. This is an older iPhone that I've had for just years. I kind of use sometimes to take B-roll, etc., etc. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna download Delta. You see, I already have a ROM loaded up, right? But we're also gonna need to download Unzip because we're gonna have some files that we're gonna have to unzip. You're gonna see that here in a second. So anyway, go back to Delta. I'm gonna go ahead and try to run this on the DS. Oh no, it shows that we're missing required DS files. So we're gonna import the files and you go, wait a minute, where are the files that I need? We need the BIOS 7, BIOS 9, and the firmware. You might be asking, how do I get those? Well, my friends, which I will have down in the description below, you download Nintendo DS, BIOS, and firmware. Download starting soon. We'll go ahead and cut to the good part when this is already finished downloading. All right, so now that it's downloaded, you see it right here. Nintendo DS, BIOS, and firmware. You see I already have done it in the past, so I can show you. So now we're gonna go to unzip. Got them right here. I'm gonna go ahead, extract the files. We're not going to pay to upgrade to VIP, right? Obviously, it's a one-time deal. So we're gonna go to Nintendo DS, BIOS, and firmware, and look at there. Look what we have right in here. We have the BIOS 9, those are the BIOS NDS.7 ROM. So we have the things that we need, correct? So now we're gonna go back to our trusty friend over here. It says required. So now we're gonna come to our files. We're going to go to browse, unzip, my folder, Nintendo DS firmware, and here is each one that we need. So we're gonna click on BIOS 7. Now we gotta find the BIOS 9. Same thing, go back through, find BIOS 9. Some failure, yeah, I know, sorry. Firmware.bn, it's right here. Done. Oh, see now we have this on the screen. Click on Soul Silver. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, you can now play DS games on your iPhone. And it's pretty cool because there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do. You can go to the menu and you could click on save state, which obviously we all know saves your load state. Then you have load, you have cheat codes, hold buttons. It's actually kind of fantastic. Press start, touchscreen works pretty damn well. And here you go, there you have it. It's literally that easy. Now obviously, you can play them wherever you go. You can find your ROMs however you want to. I'm not gonna tell you how to do that for legal purposes, but I think you probably, if you're watching this video, you probably have a good idea and understanding of how to get those files if you already don't have them. But unfortunately, like I said, when you do download Delta, you do have to do a little bit of digging and extracting to get some other files, but it's pretty simple. That file or that link for those files will be located in the description of this video. And it's actually really funny. The reason why I wanted to make this video is because I had a few friends on Twitter and even real life after uh, I got it working, I posted this tweet saying, holy crap, I can now play you know DS games on my iPhone, et cetera, et cetera. And I had people come up to me and ask me, how did you get it to work? I've had all these problems. I had, I, you know, I had to go through Reddit and stuff like that. If I find the original video of where I found that link, I will also link it in the description below because I got it from another creator. So just for transparency's sake, I did not figure this out on my own. I did have someone else figure it out before me. 
obviously, and I used their guide and it worked very well. But something I wanted to mention, I made a tweet about Chrono Trigger that triggered quite a bit of people because what I said was, hey, I'm playing Chrono Trigger for the very first time ever thanks to Delta on my iPhone. Do you have any tips? And boy, did people not like that. I, oh, okay, so I got a lot of tips, obviously, and I am playing through Chrono Trigger for the very first time. That is not a lie. But a lot of people got really, really upset with me that I'm playing it on Delta on my iPhone. Well, why didn't you just download the iOS version? Or why don't you play it on the original hardware? And uh, blah, 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 all these different things. They missed the point of the tweet. I specifically said, I am now playing Chrono Trigger on my iPhone thanks to Delta. It was all just a tweet to just showcase how awesome it is that Delta is now available on the iOS market, the store. It's free for us to be able to use. It's not something that we have to jailbreak our iPhones, right? I have a brand new iPhone 15. I don't wanna jailbreak it, I don't. I probably could have done it with this phone, my, my old phone, actually I think this might be my wife's old phone, I don't even remember at this point, but I didn't want to jailbreak anything. I wanted to do it all the, well, legal way. And now because of Delta, I can. I just so happen to have specific files and ROMs that I can use to now play on my DS. I'll tell you right now, I'm playing through the absolutely amazing Pokemon Blaze Black. I don't know if any of you guys have played that ROM hack of black and white, some of the best Pokemon games ever. This just essentially made the games even harder. I'm currently playing through that right now. I started up Chrono Trigger, like I said. I tested a bunch of different games. I did Golden Sun, uh, Dawn of Souls, I think it was called, or Dark Souls, I can't remember. <laughs> Dark Souls. I tried Final Fantasy IV, arguably the hardest version of Final Fantasy IV, the DS version. I played Soul Silver, like you saw in the how-to part of this video. And I also played Heart Gold, and I tested other games. I tested GBA games, SNES, NES. I did a lot of testing. This app is wonderful. And I am very thankful to whoever was able to get it on iPhone. I don't know if it's Apple being more lenient with you know what's allowed on their stores now because obviously this has been available on Android forever. You've always been able to do stuff like this on Android. But that is why I wanted to make this video is because now it's available on iPhone for all of us dweebs out there that are so deep in the ecosystem of Apple and iPhone, we now can play along like everybody else. And you don't need to get a DS with an R4. You don't need to mod your Wii U. You don't need to mod your 3DS. You can literally play any of these games with the palm of your hand. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you like these types of videos, make sure you hit the like button down below. I'm dabbling a little more into the world of emulation. I might have something coming from China that I'm gonna make a review on. Uh, when that gets here, I'll eventually do it. But thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It's always a pleasure to make these for you guys. I have a really great time talking to everybody on Twitter. If you don't already, go ahead and follow me over there. I've been posting a lot lately. We've got a lot of engagement going on over there. It's a lot of fun. But thank you guys again so much. I can't thank you enough. I don't know why I keep saying thank you. So thank you. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.